Hi guys, this is Cindy, the Resale Remedy, and I'm not going to do a wet sold video and or anything like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about something that a lot of new people always uh, want to know. I know there's a lot of people that um, get in the chats. I'm usually behind the scene in the chats. I don't join in, but I'll watch a lot of uh, YouTubers um, as they're doing their show and I, I i get a big kick out of uh some of them but um i'll be behind the scenes and i'll look and there'll be a few people trying to ask questions and they don't get them answered so I, i'm going to answer one of them that i saw just recently and it was pretty simple and it never got answered um what does it take and i guess because the question was so basic and so simple um, this young lady had asked, or older lady, I really don't know, um, but it, uh, I assume it was a woman, and um, she had wanted to know, well, break it down. What does it take to uh, sell online, uh, to become a reseller, to be like you? I want to be like you. She was basically saying, I want to sell those things. I want to do those things. Um, uh, I'm ready to quit my nine to five. So I'm going to, I'm going to address a few of those things and get downright honest truth about it in, in my perspective. Um, because I mean, I'm, I, I've always told you guys, I'm rolling along just like you are trying to build a business, but I'm going to give you a perspective and, and what, what it does take. And it's just, I mean, it's as simple as one word and it's dedication. And dedication can go a long way as far as a word is considered. Dedication can mean uh, having pride in what you do. Uh, dedication can mean uh, giving it all you've got. Dedication can mean, uh, say you're going to source on Thursday or Sunday and do it. Um, dedication is a word that will go a long way. My daughter and I just recently talked about worth ethics, and I'm still lisping, guys, so if it sounds funny, that's why. Um, my daughter and I just had a, a conversation about that, and in today's society, a lot of the young people don't have the worth ethics that the old, other generations might have had. You know, they don't, they don't seem to try as hard. You know, they want things handed to them. Um, now this is not always the truth about everybody in today's society, but I'm just I'm just saying there's a lot of you out there. And uh, I was raised with the harder you work, the more you get out of life. You know, uh, work hard, get more. Work hard, keep more. You know, I mean that's just the way it is. But dedication is something that if you wanted to go into resell. And you are that person in chat that's not getting your an question answered or either not getting it answered appropriately, that's what you need is dedication. Now, if you work a nine to five job and this is something that you want to do, eventually go full time, you've got to have patience too. Patience is another good word that you need in this business. Um, it's not going to happen overnight for you. And Unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of these uh, YouTubers out there that will put on, I've made $1,000 a week, $4,000 a month, uh, $500, and just Monday through Friday. Job. A lot of that is clickbait once you get into that video. Um, if you do a little background on the person, you look at their store, you'll find they've got two, 3,000 items in that store, and the average cost is anywhere from... 20 to 60 to 100 dollars an item and yeah they can make that kind of money and a lot of times it's newer items as well it's not used clothing or used goods or uh, bargain basement stuff that the average reseller would sell now if you are that person that wants to be uh how do i get into this business what does it take um uh, and you've got a lump of money to put into it um you can go that route. There's a lot of resellers that will teach you how to go that route to where you can buy new items and it's called retail arbitrage. You can buy newer items and you can sell on eBay and Amazon. Now that's another path. I particularly don't know a lot about Amazon, so I'm not going to even touch on retail arbitrage with you guys. Seriously, this is just 
for the average person that's watching um uh, well, I don't want to throw the names out there. Watching one of the videos where the folks are sitting there having a live chat or something and talking about their sold and how much they uh, made and, you know, all this. And, and that person's getting lost in that feed on that chat. And they're just trying to ask a simple question. What does it take? And it's dedication. Dedication, patience, and um, just do it. You jump in there and do it. And you can't expect miracles. If you're doing it like most resellers would tell you, thrift out of your own home first. Get your feet wet first. See if it's something that you really think you might like. Get your feet wet first. Um, open up that store. You're going to be limited at first. We've talked about that before. You're limited. You don't have so many items that you can list at one time when you first start. You need to get that feedback score up. I suggest... I think that your feedback score at least it has to be 25 or above to make a real huge difference in your sales. That's just my opinion. Um, uh, you got to do that. You got to start off slow. Don't expect to be a millionaire in a month. And a lot of these shows, you'll click into them because, like I said, they're clickbait. And you're you're thinking, okay, I'm going to go quit my job and I'm going to start reselling and everything's going to be hunky-dory. The, the bad news is that we have, as resellers, we have slow months. We have slow months. We have busy months. We have no months as far as sales. I'm serious. Uh, up until recently, you know, I, I have close to 500 things listed, which isn't a lot compared to some of the higher ups, but it's an average. Um, I have 500 listings, and I just now started picking my sales back up again. You know, my whole purpose is to pay for certain things with my eBay funds um, that the household budget doesn't have to pay for. And just recently, we purchased a car, and that's one of the things I want to pay for. And I'm just about there with the car payment. You know, I just got a couple more weeks to go for it. Payment is due, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I reach that. But back on the subject, it takes dedication. And that's all it takes. You can't whine about, well, why is eBay doing this to me? Why is eBay doing that to me? You can't sit there and look at that anymore. And trust me, I used to be one of those whiners. I'm not any longer because it is what it is. eBay is a machine. It is not a human being. It's a machine. And it has... It's certain criteria that it's typed into, I guess, and that's how the machine runs. But, you know, mistakes happen. Even with machines, mistakes happen. Things fail. So, you know, there's always that helpline that you can call. But don't, you know, don't fuss. Don't take it out on eBay. If you had a brick and mortar, it, trust me, the fees and everything else would be tons higher. I used to have a brick and mortar. And trust me, it's a lot harder than selling online. And uh, But you got to be patient and you got to have dedication and you got to keep pumping through. Now, there's a lot of people out there. Once you reach, once you buy a store, you'll once you reach a point that you feel like you want to list more than what they allow or they allow you to list more than what you got you'll want to purchase one of the stores and there's several stores to purchase at this point once you purchase a store um that gives you that foundation to really being a business entrepreneur now don't quit your job while you're while you're doing all this i want you to keep working because you're not going to make a lot of money when you first do this i'm telling you right now you're not you know unless you're going the retail arbitrage way and jumping right in it and you've got money to live on for uh six months without having to do anything with your your reselling online as far as living that's fine do whatever you got to do but i'm just talking about the little person and starting off and that person that was in that feed that did not get her question answered i mean she typed it twice I'm serious. She typed it twice and she still didn't get an answer. I should have answered her, but my answer was so long because I'm extremely winded <laughs> that I couldn't answer her. You know, I didn't, I just, I waited for one of the, the people with the more experience that was given the video to answer her or either one of the people that were monitoring it to answer her. There's tons more people in these chats with more experience than I do. I have. And I wanted her question answered. 
but it just takes dedication it takes time it takes patience and when you go out thrifting don't think that you're because you're not thrifting the same thing this person's thrifting don't think your stuff is crap your stuff is not crap it will sell as long as it's nice it's clean got good photos and it will sell eventually it will sell somebody will buy it i've got stuff that's been on there for since i started like two and a half years ago whatever however long i've been on this thing i've got stuff on there so i mean it'll sell eventually it'll sell i just recently sold something that had been on there for two years and i got top dollar for it while i was asking for it you know i didn't have to lower it any but anyway what i'm saying is just to that person in that chat you know if you're watching me which the likelihood of you watching me is probably very low because i don't have a, a huge following but to that person or persons like that person what does it take as dedication you got to put into time you got to put in the footwork you got to thrift you got to research and you just got to do it that's all it takes is just doing it if this is something that you feel like you really want to do i'm looking for my water guys here it is um if this is something that you really think you want to do the only way to find out is to do it i know you've probably been watching people on youtube and watching and watching and you're like oh they got it so easy they it's so it, it wasn't easy for them at first you know it wasn't easy for them at first it, it, you know they they were excited they were thrilled they were pumped um, just like everybody else is but the truth of the matter is this takes dedication and it's hard work it's not a nine-to-five job you know for, for me I have certain hours because I have a hobby farm and you, you folks can probably hear the roosters in the background and if you want a rooster come get a rooster seriously come get a rooster i've got roosters and i need to get them homes but it's not a nine to five job with me i do what i can do during my time that i have free and then i work my farm then i take care of my family then i also have my father that i take care of as well but the fact of the matter is i love this this is who i am I love reselling. I love the research that goes into it. I I love the opportunity that I have, um, you know, making money out of you know something I bought for ninety nine cent. You know that's just crazy. But if you read my feedback on my email, uh, on my web, um, what am I saying? My eBay site people are happy and i love making people happy as one of the reasons i i went into this is to um make people happy find something that they might like or they had as a child and make them smile you know oh my gosh look what i got you know and so i try to make my packages real pretty i don't i don't like just throwing stuff in a poly bag and saying here take it i actually put time into my packaging and I put thought into my packaging. I make sure that that person, when they get my package, they're going to smile automatically because it's going to be pretty. Now, they may have to return it. Who knows? But that initial smile that they get, that's what I'm hoping happens when they get something from me. And I do, I do put some time and some um, effort into that. But I'm dedicated. This is what I do this is who I am and I have passion for it I'm dedicated I I love the lifestyle I I love the thrill of the hunt as far as thrifting I really do I love the thrill of the hunt and I love 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 the people that I have encountered on my journey and um, this is a very lonely business and so I always tell folks please reach out to Facebook groups, reach out to people. Um, somebody reaches out to you, reach back. Don't shut yourself off and say, oh, I don't want to talk to folks. You know, open yourself up, you know, give it a shot. 
but that's it that's short and sweet and this is i wanted to keep this as a, a really small video because i'm going to do the what solds next week because i'm running a sale and it's actually working good for me so i want to go through all that sale stuff that i am doing and i'm actually i'm actually getting it all ready so i can put up a video next week to let y'all know how this sale went i'm running it for two weeks that's one of the reasons i didn't do a video last week for one, I was I was busy. We have stuff going on here at the farm. And I'm waiting for the pole guy now. He's got to give me an estimate of putting up a new power pole and everything. And living out in the country, guys. So here's the process for putting up a pole. Um, he calls me and he wants to, he's got to come out and give me an estimate on, um, I mean, a, a, an opinion on if where I want to put the pole is appropriate. Okay. It's not going to cost me anything to get the pole hooked up, but I've got to put the pole up. Now, that's how you do it in the country, okay? I've actually got to take my trailer down to the lumber store, tell them I need a power pole, bring it home, put it, he's told me it has to be at least four feet deep, and it has to be packed very tightly. So we've got to do that, and we've got to get a, a meter box, not the meter itself, but the box, attach it to the pole by code and properly with straps and all that good stuff, and then call them back out, and they'll come out and run the power to it. So that's how it works in the country. <laughs> so anyway, I'm waiting for the guy to um, uh, pull up and let me know what's going on. But that might be him there, actually. I hear a big truck outside. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. But what does it take to be a reseller? It takes dedication. And I'm going to add patience. It takes patience. Anybody can do it. You just got to put in the time, the effort, and keep a good attitude. Don't get sad and depressed and angry. I've been there. I've been through all the emotions. Just take it as it comes. Keep a positive attitude, and positivity will come back at you. I don't care what anybody says, having a negative attitude will just ruin it all. It really will. Don't be negative. Be positive because it shows. It shows in your listings. It shows in your communications with customers. It shows. So guys, dedication, positive, and just do it. That's all it takes. And to that young lady who didn't get her question answered, or older lady, or somebody that was an alias and wasn't a lady at all um to whoever that was if you are watching this show i wish i'd have jumped in and answered you and that is i'm so sorry i really should have the feed went by so fast and i kept seeing i saw it twice and then i was like okay all right and and the show was pretty much over pretty much at that point but um after I thought about, well, maybe, and I had done forgot her handle. I done forgot her, her name anyway. I guess I could have looked back, but that's okay. But I, just dedication. Get in there. you got to want to do it. you got to really want to do it. That's all it takes. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. That's it. <laughs> all right, guys, this is Cindy, the Resale Remedy, and I'm signing off because that is definitely my power guy. All right, guys, take care. Bye.